the creation of the world and the Titans. In the beginning there was only chaos, a yawning void of darkness and confusion. From this abyss emerged Gaia, the Earth, a nurturing and solid presence amidst the emptiness. Alongside her came Tartarus, the deepest abyss of the underworld, and Eros, the spirit of love, whose force would bring creation into being. Gaia, vast and bountiful, gave birth to Uranus, the sky, a majestic dome that enveloped her. Together they brought forth many children, powerful and formidable, known as the Titans. Among these Titans were Cronus, the youngest but most cunning, and Rhea, his sister and destined wife. The Titans were not the only children of Gaia and Uranus. There were also the Cyclopes, one-eyed giants with the gift of forging mighty weapons, and the Hecaton Curies, monstrous beings with a hundred hands and fifty heads. Uranus, fearing their strength and monstrous forms, cast them into Tartarus, a prison deep within the earth. Gaia, grieved by the imprisonment of her children, sought to overthrow Uranus. She crafted a great sickle of adamant and approached her titan children, urging them to rise against their father. Only Cronus, ambitious and brave, took up the sickle and lay in wait for Uranus. One night, as Uranus descended to lie with Gaia, Cronus struck. With a swift and brutal swing, he castrated his father, and the blood that spilled forth gave rise to the Furies, the Giants and the Melei, nymphs of the ash trees. The severed genitals, cast into the sea, foamed and birthed Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. Cronus, now ruler of the cosmos, freed his titan siblings and took Rhea as his queen. However, a prophecy foretold that one of Cronus's children would overthrow him, just as he had overthrown Uranus. To prevent this, Cronus devoured each of his offspring at birth. Rhea, heartbroken, devised a plan to save her youngest child, Zeus. She gave birth to him in secret on the island of Crete, hiding him in a cave. To deceive Cronus, she presented him with a stone wrapped in swaddling clothes, which he swallowed without question. Zeus grew up in the care of nymphs, nourished by the milk of the divine goat Amalthea, and protected by the curates, warrior dancers who drowned out his cries with their clashing weapons. When he reached maturity, Zeus sought to free his siblings and challenge Cronus. With the help of Metis, a titaness of wisdom, Zeus tricked Cronus into drinking a potion that caused him to vomit up the swallowed children, Hestia, Demeter, Hera, Hades, and Poseidon. Reunited, the siblings joined forces to overthrow their tyrannical father. The war that ensued, known as the Titanomachy, raged for ten years. The Olympians, led by Zeus, fought fiercely against the Titans. To gain an advantage, Zeus freed the Cyclops and the Hecatonchares from Tartarus. In gratitude, the Cyclopes gifted Zeus with thunderbolts, Poseidon with a trident, and Hades with a helmet of invisibility. The Hecatonchares, with their hundred hands, hurled massive boulders at the Titans, creating earthquakes and chaos. The Cyclopes, with their immense strength, forged weapons and fought alongside the Olympians. The tide of battle turned in favor of Zeus and his allies. In a final cataclysmic clash, Zeus unleashed his full power. Thunderbolts rained down, splitting the sky and shattering the earth. The Titans, overwhelmed and defeated, were cast into Tartarus, bound by unbreakable chains and guarded by the Hecatoncheres. With the Titans imprisoned, the Olympians claimed their dominion over the cosmos. Zeus, as the new king of the gods, established his throne on Mount Olympus. He divided the realms among his siblings. Poseidon ruled the seas, Hades the underworld, and the others took their places as gods and goddesses of various aspects of life and nature. Gaia, though relieved to see the end of the Titan's reign, warned Zeus of a prophecy that a child born to him would one day overthrow him. Thus began the era of the Olympian gods, who ruled with wisdom, power, and occasionally a touch of their own brand of divine mischief. From the primordial chaos to the establishment of order by the Olympians, the world took shape. The heavens sparkled with stars, the seas teemed with life, and the earth blossomed in all its glory. Under the watchful eyes of the gods, mortals began to flourish, 
weaving their own tales into the grand tapestry of existence. And so, from the depths of chaos and conflict, the world was born, a realm of beauty and wonder, governed by the powerful Olympian gods, each of whom played a part in the grand saga of creation.